So this is the beginning of our Oregon trip. If you've seen any of our other videos, this is day eight of 16 from our California, Oregon, Washington road trip. There are a few pull-offs that we plan on doing along this trip. This is one of them. We're really excited about it. It's cold and windy and foggy and misty and it is actually lunchtime right now. It's about 12 noon, even though you cannot tell. And I don't know, we're having a good time. I think we're about to eat some lunch. We got a cooler with some snacks in it and that's next on our list, but yeah. Enjoy this video. If you haven't seen any of our other videos about this trip, they should have come out before this. So go look back in this playlist that this video is in and you'll be able to see all of our California videos. And if you do that and you wanna see more of our trip, we're gonna be going the rest of the way up the coast all the way to Port Angeles and Seattle. So there's gonna be a lot more videos coming out about that too. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button for this video and make sure that you ring the bell for notifications. If you've been here and we missed anything that whoever's watching this video needs to see, put it in the comments. And if you've been here and you loved it and this reminded you of some of your best memories, put that in the comments too. We are at the Samuel H. Boardman Corridor. This is our first stop in Oregon. We're having a lovely picnic lunch with ham, turkey, some shredded cheese because our other cheese got ruined. We've established that this view isn't as great as that view. So right now I am in a cave on Face Rock Beach. And there's a whole cave that you can walk through that I'm gonna show you now that you can pretty much walk right out into the ocean. I'm assuming during high tide this is really full and dangerous, but for right now we're safe and sound. This is one of the coolest moments of my life. We are at something called Thor's Well. If I keep looking down, I'm watching my step because I'm in the middle of all of these rocks. But we are at something called Thor's Well. And it's this big well where at high tide, a bunch of water comes in and then it switches it out. But while we were here, these people that were super nice uh, told us that there are some whales out in the ocean. So I'm trying to get as close as possible so I can see whales because I've never seen a whale before. And that's really exciting. And Brittany's freaking out, he's freaking out, and Colin's freaking out, and we're all freaking out, and we're out here. And I don't know, I'm gonna try to get video for you guys, but I'm also gonna enjoy this moment.
just blew water up. Oh. Have you been to Oregon before? No, sir. Okay. Now we flew in from uh, Atlanta. Okay. You can't. New Orleans. You can't slop or you pump your own gas in Oregon. Really? So you're going to counter this wherever uh, you go here. Okay. You can pump your gas after nine o'clock in some small towns like this so you don't get stranded. Oh. You have to use a car, but other than that, some guy's gonna come out. Okay. It's not the same in California. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Hey, we appreciate <laughs> it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. So right now, we are at the Devil's Punch Bowl near Newport, Oregon. There is a few Devil's Punch Bowls, so don't be confused whenever I say this. Um, of all the places that we've seen, and we have seen some truly gorgeous, amazing places, I would say that this place is kind of a dud, uh, and I'll explain why. It's breathtaking, it's beautiful, it's all of the good things that you love about nature, but most of the places that we've been to, especially recently on the coast, you can go down near whatever you're coming to see. Like we went to see Thor's Well and all those places and you can go down right next to it. And uh, Colin was even able to fly the drone at a lot of places, there weren't any rules against that. But whenever you get here, there's like a fence overlook and you can't get near it and you're far away and you can't really see. And I don't know, I think that we've gotten spoiled. We said that actually last night, we showed up to a beach, we're like, well, we've seen better beaches. And it sounds really terrible, but there's so many places that are so worth our time and so worth getting every ounce that you can out of those places. And I would say that this isn't necessarily one of them. So if you like to get to the adventure part of it and you like to go down and get up close and nitty gritty, I would say skip this. If you are fine with an overlook and you just came here to see the view and you want to see a big hole in the ground, go on, this place is for you. But this can go on the actual top of it. Yeah, that would go on the top of it. Control. This is treacherous. This is why it's a danger. Because <laughs> it's so slippery. Oh my god, that goes straight down. It's steep. I told you that up there, but it does go down there. I couldn't hear you. How did that guy get down there? He it's ran it. Steep. It's steep. Okay, so I'm down here at the Devil's Punch Bowl. I'm going to show you how far Gabby is. All right, okay. okay, so I just got down here and it was extremely difficult, very steep. I did it with this backpack on and a camera on my neck. Um, but look, I'm going to show you real quick. Once it gets to that point, it gets extremely slippery and like it's very slick and muddy. So like even if you were to hike it all the way down, you could end up slipping and hurting yourself right there. I just slid and held my hands on to it and I mean I did it, but it was definitely difficult. So I would not recommend doing this because the signs say it's dangerous and to not go down that point. And we kind of have a a following like there's a family behind us with little kids and stuff so I hope that you know it works out and they make it down but anyway I told Gabby she can't come up here because I mean can't come down here same thing with Brittany because yeah, I think it they would fall it's just a little too slick so anyway now that I'm down here I'm gonna show you the devil's punch bowl I'm not really sure how I'm going to get back up. I'm going to have to fix it. 
figure that out. So I'm currently walking a different way to get back. Look, let me show you. That's algae. That algae is extremely slippery, like you would not believe. Like you think you have incredible traction. And then you walk on that and you have nothing. You just slip. So when I was coming down, like I was explaining, the traction just wasn't there at all. I'm on a beach part now, which is why I'm walking pretty fast, but it was just extremely slippery and as hard as it was to get down, I don't think there's any way, especially with a camera in my hand and the backpack on, that I would be able to get back up. So I had to tell Gabby that I was going to walk down the beach and try to find a way up. Now, I'm not too worried about it because there are a ton of people down here and I don't see any skeletons, so I think people are getting out. But at the moment, it is really hard to find a place to go back up. It's just, everything's so steep. Look. All right, here they come. Hey, everybody. So right now we are headed to God's Thumb. We found this uh, very nice lady that told us where to go on the trail. She said to go on the left driveway where it says the trail is, pass by to the little gate, go up, stay on the road because the road is public, but the property on the west side, which is this way, is privately owned by a crazy person who will shoot you. So we're staying on the road and that's pretty steep so far. <laughs> anyway. Let's go. Do you see this? Uh -huh. Oh my God. If you can see, we just hiked all the way up to God's Thumb. Uh, I did not expect a hike. I guess I didn't really look that far into this place, even though I knew I wanted to see it. I kind of expected like a little pull off or turn off or something like that. But I don't know. I mean, this is a much better view if you get to get up right next to it, right? I would say we hiked for about a quarter to half a mile, which means about a quarter or a half back down. But down is always easier than up, so it should be good. One thing I really liked about this trail was that the ground was really soft. It was like a dirt, but it was kind of wet, so it was all mushed together and it wasn't very slippery or anything. I felt like we had a really solid hike, uh, probably one of the best ones we've done so far. And I don't know, look at that. It's just so pretty. So um, if you're looking to do God's Thumb, absolutely gorgeous view. Bring some snacks, have a picnic. I don't know, just really make the most of it. The weather is perfect. We are here in the middle of August, if you did not know that. Um, and. I hiked up here in like a really thin rain jacket and now I'm sweating so it's tied around my waist. And yeah, I think we're gonna try to make it to the top. Colin is currently setting up a drone. Enjoy the view.
Okay, so on the way back, I mapped my run, or used the Map My Run app, and we walked um, almost a mile, which means that the whole round trip was almost two miles. All right, so right now we are at Cannon Beach. It is super windy, the waves are kicking, there's this big giant rock. It's absolutely gorgeous. Also, if you're coming to Cannon Beach, it's in the middle of a neighborhood, especially if you're coming to see like the big giant rock. Finding good parking is important and um, we found some kind of on the side of the road and it just so happened to be right across from where the beach access was. So I'll show you this beautiful beach. I went and talked to the lifeguard to see if I could fly the drone out here, but he said that this is a bird sanctuary. And if you look at the very top of Cannon Beach, you'll see a bunch of birds flying around. And that coupled with the wind, I think my drone wouldn't stand a chance. So you're not gonna see any drone shots of this. So I would just say that you need to come see this for yourself because even a drone shot would not do this justice. It's unbelievable. So that's it for the Oregon coast. We had an absolute blast driving um, all along the Oregon coast and making all those really cool stops. I would definitely recommend that road trip for you if you are interested in doing that. Um, it's a really good trip right now, especially with COVID because we have to stay in our own country and there's a lot to see in our own country that I think that we forget about sometimes. A lot of these places that we went to, I had never heard of before. So it was still really cool and a big adventure and I don't know, it was a lot of fun. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. It means so much to our channel. And if you have already subscribed, thank you again. I know I say that all the time. Uh, make sure you like this video. Leave it in the comments if you have been to any of the places that we went to or would like to. Um, we wanna hear your stories and your dreams and your hopes and everything good and grand. If you have any questions, also let us know. If you have any recommendations for the people, let us know that too. All right, bye.